Well, thank you very much. Um, Peter, in terms of the ITCU statement to the spring meetings, it, it states that the economic slowdown in most regions of the world reflects both erroneous policy decisions taken by global economic governance uh, structures and a lack of rapid, decisive action to address the second recent major, major second recent major financial crisis which threatened the global economy after the near meltdown of the U.S. financial system in 2008, and further that a premature shift from fiscal towards fiscal consolidation policies in most major economies and repeated delays responding to the ongoing financial crisis, particularly in Europe, has contributed to a renewed economic slowdown around the world. How, sh how should, from a trade union's perspective, the policy responses to the crisis look like? And how could industry and labor take actions to prepare for future crises? Uh, yeah, well, thank you uh, for the question, for having taken uh, the time to look at the statement that we issued uh, for the, um, the the spring meetings of the IMF and the World Bank. I, I would, um, at the start, however, like to commend the ILO and the, the World Bank for putting out this report. Uh, I found it mainly, uh, uh, immensely instructive, and um, uh, I think there are lessons we can take from it. Um, but I think in that report, um, you know, the report, the data ends in 2010. I mean, obviously, you know, it takes time to put these things together. And if you know some of the things that have been going on uh, since 2010, that responds, I think, in part to the questions you asked me. And I think it adds to, uh, you know, for those who are um, <clears throat> uh, paid to follow the IMF and the World Bank very closely, the activities they do. If, if you look at the World Economic Outlook uh, report that the IMF issued at the beginning of the year, you know, in the, in the past five years, recession started in 2008, we've had one year of growth that is somewhat equivalent to the pre-crisis period, that was 2010. 2011 growth was slower, 2012 slower again. And, um, you know, many people, and not just us, but I think we're among the most vocal, have been criticizing governments for deciding uh, around early 2010 that, okay, we've done stimulus for a year or so, um, now let's cut down those deficits. And ultimately, um, those policies have been self-defeating because if, if you look at the countries uh, in the worst situation, uh, because their growth has fallen off, because they've, they've uh, adopted the austerity policies, they're not even succeeding in reducing their deficits. Um, but I, th I think, um, you know, the, the, the thing we learned from this report and, and um, uh, from, from the presentations this morning and, and also a few minutes ago from Jurgen's comments is that, that it's not just a matter of growth, it's also a matter of what policies you adopt. Um, you know, one, one figure that's always impressed me in the case of, um, if one compares Germany and the U.S., um, in 2009, the U.S. GDP uh, declined by about 2.5%. Now, that same year, the German D GDP, gross domestic product, actually fell by about twice that, almost 5%. Yet, U.S. unemployment doubled, um, and Germany's unemployment hardly budged. And why? It's because of the policies. Um, the, the reduced working time program was an important part of it, but not, not only. Um, whereas in the U.S., with what's considered one of the most uh, liberalized and flexible labor markets in the world, it was, you know, the workers felt the full brunt uh, of that crisis. So I, I think there's a lesson there, and there's a lesson that, uh, that we can take from um, uh, the, the long list of, um, of, of programs, of policy responses, uh, that we see uh, that, that we see in the report, but you know, getting back to your question, unfortunately, we see um, since that report, well, the, the the data part of the report ends in 2010. Um, many countries are now cutting back on unemployment benefits, the level, the duration, uh, pensions are being cut, minimum wages, all, all elements which are identified in the report as important crisis responses. At the same time, that hardly any dent globally has been met has been made on the um, on the on the um, employment deficit. 
you know, we even have contradictory policies in some cases. Uh, countries are increasing retirement ages at the same time that youth unemployment is, is very high. And, uh, you know, you keep the um, um, more senior people at work. Well, uh, that means less jobs for youth unless uh, other, other things are done. But, um, you know, what, what I think in, in terms of further work, we, 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 uh, we think it is necessary to make a real dent in the high level of unemployment to adopt some of, some of the vigorous and concerted measures that we saw the G20 take and many other countries take in 2009. Um, for example, in the green economy, uh, enormous em employment potential um, that, that's there. Um, if, uh, you know, if the political will is there, if the social partners uh, work, uh, work together, um, there, there's a lot more we could we could do together, and uh, hopefully, uh, with uh, using this report and, and others, we could make make some headway to uh, to make real progress. Thank you.